in the seven. Ethan Dotson in the 174, your final two starters. Emergency provisionals for Corey Lawler in the 93. And the Pink Panther, Bob Gardner in the 4G. That gives us an astronomical 30 race cars starting this 40-lap main event here tonight. $10,000 on the line. Dale, I, I just uh, lay it out there. You've seen this racetrack very similar to last night. What do you think we're going to see in this 40-lap A main? It's going to be exciting down here in turn one. I know I keep saying that, but it's going to be exciting down here, I think, throughout the throughout the night. And and uh, so, I mean, you're going to have guys that can get across that hole. It's going to be whoever can get across that hole and maintain that traction off of turn two. All right. Words of wisdom there from Mac Daddy, Dale McDowell, as the Brandon Ford Pace Trucks make the left-hand turn into the infield. Garrett Smith on the pole. Jimmy Owens on the outside. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to go green flag racing for 40 laps. Here they come off turn number four. This is your Dixie Chopper. Feel the thunder. over Jimmy Owens and Mark Whitener as they head through turns three and four. I'll tell you, they are bouncing down there and one here comes on the bottom. Garrett Alberson, two laps in the books. Garrett Smith, Jimmy Owens, Garrett Alberson, Mark Whitener, Clay Harris, your top five. Oh, oh gosh. Man, we've got a Dave Warren Power Sports caution and it's the five and Mark Whitener's got a tire down. Yeah, flat left rear on Mark Whitener. He did a good job. He did a complete 360 and kept it going, but uh, that flat left rear is going to send the driver of the Ocala Restaurant Supply number five to the Heartbeat Hot Sauce Hot Pit. And uh, Ben, he's heading your way. While he's doing that, we're going to take a look against the replay and see what happened. Yeah, Brandon Overton also down here in the Heartbeat Hot Sauce Hot Pit, guys. Ah. Man, tough break for Brandon Overton as well. As uh, Dale, walk us through what happened here. Oh, knocked the left rear off the bead. Yep. Knocked the left rear off the bead going through those holes, and, and uh, while you're on the fuel, it just pulled the left rear. Surely like, they had an inner bead lock. Like Spencer Hughes maybe got in the back of uh, RTJ there as well. Ricky Thornton Jr. with a little bit of uh, quarter panel damage, cosmetic on the uh, SSI Motorsports 20RT. It looked like it got into the uh, that quarter panel, get into the tire. We'll take a look at it from our infield camera here next time by. And nope, it's crinkled, crinkled up, but uh, not over much, although when he gets into the corner, maybe just the plastic uh, rub there a little bit. I Dale. think I think you'll be clear there. I think you'll be fine. All right, two, two laps in the – just a piece of plastic, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two laps in the books, Whitener out of the race. So it'll be Garrett Smith, Jimmy Owens, Garrett Alberson. Clay Harris will now be fourth, Davenport fifth, and Harrington, Moran, O'Neill, Conley, and Ricky Thornton, Jr. That'll be your top ten. Again, two scored, 38 to go. Once again, a $10,000 payday awaits the winner of this one. So Garrett Smith, your leader, has not won a Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series race, James, since the Dirt Track World Championship in 2022. Jimmy Owens, and it's been a year and a half since he won June of 22 at Smoky Mountain. Garrett Alberson has never won a Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series feature, and neither has Clay Harris. Where is Mikey and Tyler? You know, we, we give Tyler a hard time, but that was a long time ago when Tyler ran into me. He's become such a, a good racer. I mean, obviously last night he could pick his lines. Uh, he does a, he does an awesome job now. Well, uh, just two laps into this one, but I'll let you know Hudson O'Neill has gained five spots. He's gone from 14th. Hey Mike, Mike Marler has moved up four spots, Ben. Overton said he just didn't want to risk tearing the race car up here tonight. All right, so Brandon Overton's going to call it a night. Ben, thank you very much. Two laps in the books. 38 laps to go. They'll fire in the Nutrient Ag Solutions restart zone with Garrett Smith ahead of the field. Here comes Alberson on the outside. Owens on the bottom. They navigate through turn number one. And Alberson's going to take second. Owens fires back down the back straight. And we go the door to door to turn three. Clay Harris to fourth, Davenport. And the Dave Warren Power Sports caution is back out. And it's the 71C of R.J. Conley. Yeah, he got in the wall down there, James, in uh, turn number two. He was able to keep the car going, but at one time it looked like he may slow to a stop. And he's got he's got a little bit of damage there. It looks like, Dale, I don't know if it's going to be anything that will prohibit him from uh, continuing on, though. I think he'll be fine. It's just the right rear T-bar up there above the right rear quarter panel. Deck bar knocked back a little bit. This is where he hit the wall. Dale, when they bounce like that, how hard is it not to kill the motor? 
it's it's not it's not terrible as long as you stay in the fuel but when you back out of the fuel i heard a lot of them last night talk about rotating and almost killing the motor early when the racetrack was greasy but in that situation the bad part about that thing is when it starts hopping it starts your foot's on the throttle pedal hopping with it and so you just continue to bounce and then when you're the longer you bounce the more traction it robs off the corner Might have an instant replay here. You see RJ Conley there in the 71 C. Let's take a look at this replay. And yeah, right there. Oh, you yeah. saw him, you saw him yeah. grab the wall. Uh, hard to tell what happened before that and the points you made earlier, Dale. He may have hit the wall in turn two, but very likely could have been something that started well before that. It, it very could. Well, I mean, it, you can get in that outside and just start pushing. When your right front gets in that above that uh, light brown to dark brown, when it gets in the dark brown, it won't steer. Yeah, RJ was running in 10th, by the way, so we'll go back to lap two. Smith, Owens, Alberson, uh, Clay Harris, and then Jonathan Davenport. So Garrett Smith, the youngster out of Eatonton, Georgia's father, Scott Smith, the car owner, Cody Mallory, the crew chief, at the Nutrient Hack Solutions restart zone. Man, that turn one, we'll see how it plays out here as we come out of, well, that was interesting, wasn't it? As we go green off of turn four. I see, yeah. I, I see Garrett getting in above that hole and coming back across. Yeah. You can kind of see that gap. He has good exit speed off of two. Owens back in the second. Good battle there between Owens and Alperson. Davenport fourth. Clay Harris Smith. Garrett Smith continues to lead here in East Bay. Side by side for the third spot as uh, Jonathan Davenport takes that spot away and slides right up in front of Garrett Alberson. Dale, I suspect when he slid up in front of him like that, may have taken some air off the 58. It does. It does. It takes air off, and it just takes you a little while to to get back in rhythm when that happens, get your speed back. Back up the front of the field. Garrett Smith not pulling away this time, James. Here comes Jimmy Owens down to the inside. you got a battle for the lead. Owens looking to lead his first laps of the season off of turn number four. Owens had a good entrance into turn one that last time, Dale Mack. He's going to take the lead. Garrett Smith out there. If you can get down below and above that hole down there, Dale, you're doing good. Good battle for the lead in the three. A lot of dig off the bottom of turn two. Jimmy Owens was ahead by nine one thousandths of a second last time by. And the Kohler Motorsports number 20 will lead by a whopping one-tenth of a second that time by. Garrett Smith, though, going to try to get something going on the high side of the racetrack. Those two drivers battling side by side through turns three and four, James. Uh, guys, Mike Marler started 19th. He's up to eighth. Oh, my. There you have it. <laughs> oh, He's my. my. Hero. Oh, man, Garrett Smith back out front. You saw it there on the screen as he was able to slide back in front of the 20 of Jimmy Owens. Here's a Mike Marlar watch on the right side of your screen, on the left side of your screen. That is a tremendous battle for the lead, and Dale, they're also closing in on the back of the field. Uh, yeah, Jimmy's, having, <laughs> Jimmy's pitched down there trying. What trying a race to, for the lead. Oh, my goodness. They're going to pick up the tail end of the field off a of turn four, Owens. And Garrett Smith. 15 one thousandths of a second. Garrett Smith out front that time by. Did find out yesterday that the uh, scoring loop is just to the right of the flag stand, and we've got a Dave Warren Power Sports caution on the track. Rick Boom, boom Briggs. Breaks. Yep. Ah, boom. You said ah, boom, not kaboom. Ah, boom. Yeah. <laughs> what a battle for the league, boom. guys. Smith and Owen side beside Davenport, Alberson, Clay Harris, Moran Harrington, Marler. Up 12 spots. No, now Brian Shirley. Brian Shirley up 12 spots. Marler up 11 here. And we've only run 9 of 40. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Drake Troutman up 10 spots uh, <coughs> there as well, James. <laughs> I, and well, Garrett actually started. When Jimmy got under him, Garrett will probably run, maybe run the top for a lap or so, but he's going to go down. He knows Jimmy's better off of two. So Garrett's going to try to do everything he can, you know, to see if it can work on that bottom line. And Shirley's got some nose piece damage there on the three car. But I noticed here, you go, you can go low and you can go high above that hole down there, Dale. Have you noticed that? You, you can. Yeah. If you go too low, it's, you know, if you go a little bit too low, it yeah. kills your exit speed. Because mm -hmm. it just makes it sharper, so you have to rotate more. If you go right through it, that's where all the traction is, is, is obviously, is where the soft spot of the racetrack is. But that's why it's rough. Uh, because that's more the traction. But when they go above it, they they rotate and get good exit speed if they come back across. But Jimmy's able to circle them. They're really nice. So he's got a good hot rod. All right, nine in the books, guys. Two out of the race. That would be Overton, Brandon Overton, and Mark Wagner. So it'll be Garrett Smith, Jimmy Owens, 
Davenport, Albertson, Harris, Moran, Harrington, Marler, O'Neill, Shepard, 10th, and Thornton, Pearson, McCready, Shirley, Wilson, your top 15, guys. Extinguishes Dave Warren Power Sports caution lights here momentarily. Looks like Jimmy Owens going to choose the inside lane on this restart. That'll put Jonathan Davenport outside, Garrett Albertson inside, and Clay Harris on the outside. Another solid run for Clay Harris, man. Uh, early in this one, nine laps down. He finds himself inside the top five right now, James. I didn't notice. Did you notice where Marler was running? Now, he's going to be on the Delaware double file down low. I, I saw him running down low, Dale, yeah, is where yeah. I saw him. I think he was just kind of passing as he – going where he needed to, you know, to make passes. But he's so good at, at sweeping across the racetrack and carrying momentum. That's He's awesome with that. All right. Dave Warren Power Sports Caution Lights turned off. Nutrient X Solutions starting zone this time by Garrett Smith back out front. Look at Jonathan Davenport swing wide off the corner. Jimmy Owens trying to get the run on the inside. They go through the middle there, out of turn two. Garrett Smith, Davenport to go to second. Owens will battle back. A three-time Lucas Oil champion and a four-time champion. Jonathan As Davenport Bush. swings out wide side beside Owens back in the second. It's a good battle there for the second spot. It happens, as you can see on the screen, just a couple car lengths behind your race leader, Garrett Smith. Garrett Alberson has worked back into the fourth spot again. Clay Harris fifth. Ricky Thornton Jr. trying to work his way through the field in the 20 RT. He's battling just outside the top five. And Jimmy Owens has another run on your race leader. Into turn one, out of two, down the back straightaway. It's about two car lengths. Owen make another bit. They've had a terrific battle here in the first 12 laps. Garrett Smith continues to lead by a car length into turn number one. And this is fun watching these guys battle up front. They've stretched out by a little bit, by about eight tenths of a second, over the 49 of Jonathan Davenport. Here comes Owens. He's got to run back down to the inside. Is he going to wash up the track? He doesn't need to. Jimmy Owens leads that time by James by eight one hundredths of a second. RJ Conley slowing in turn two and will we have a caution he is off the track we stay green jimmy owens out in front coming off a turn four garrett smith jonathan davenport and dandy here at east bay whoa and garrett smith had to check up dale what happened there lost the air garrett lost the air off the nose jimmy owens out front in this one guys he has not won at east bay raceway park in 11 years 2013 the last time he won as garrett smith falls back jonathan davenport officially in front of him that time by the stripe and garrett alverson going to try to follow suit on the bottom and he does so he's is garrett smith missed his marks a couple laps in a row Dale well, was maybe something wrong he was leading and making that top work and i think you can kind of see that dark right in the middle of the one and two so it's throwing up some wet crumbs up there in the high line. So I think everybody's kind of migrating down just a little bit. And after a caution, they pack all that in, that top line will roll again. But right now they're throwing some wet stuff up, so it's going to be hard to run around the top. As we work lap 17, Jimmy Owens still out in front. That was the last time. It was one second exactly. Davenport, Alberson, Smith, Thornton, O'Neill, Marler up to seventh. Harris, Shepard, Moran. So Mike Marler back at the Todd Steele but he's hard charges so far. Up 12 spots here in the first 17 laps. James let folks note the 174 of Ethan Dotson is out of the race. He has pulled the Coltman Farms entry in the infield. Coming around this time, just a lap shy of the halfway point. You're looking back on the battle for fourth. It's Ricky Thornton Jr. who started 11th on the inside of uh, Garrett Smith. He's trying to take that away. Meanwhile, back up at the front of the field, your race leader, Jimmy Owens, he has reached the back of the field, and it's going to be Corey Lawler, the first car to go one lap down, crossed flags this time. Halfway, Owens in the Kohler Bruce Sports car number 20. Second all-time winning his driver in the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. He'll put two lap cars between himself and second place running Jonathan Davenport. We'll double it up for you at home. We keep the leader on the left side of your screen again. Jimmy Owens in that black, gray, and orange Kohler Motorsports number 20. Behind him, Ricky Thornton Jr. trying to pick his way through the field and get his first ever East Bay Raceway Park win. That's him on the right side of your screen. He's moved up to fourth, James, and Garrett Alberson has worked his way around Jonathan Davenport. Dale, you picked him, right? Garrett I, Alberson. I picked him. He's going to be there here. 22 laps scored. Down the back straightaway. Well, here comes Alberson. It's about eight car lengths back. Last time around, guys, it was 1.3 seconds as they worked the back of the field off a of turn four. Guys, that last time by, Garrett Alberson was very much faster than Jimmy Owens, and he's four tenths faster this time as well. Garrett Alberson's got a good hot rod. He's closing in on the 20. Dale, does he have anything you think to get by Jimmy Owens? Well, we'll just have to see where Jimmy goes when he gets to that lap traffic ahead of him and, and how maneuverable that Garrett's car will be. Jonathan's right back under him right there, so... Good race. 
We're going to try to work by the 111, a max player there down the back straightaway. Again, Garrett Alberson in the 58 in second. Jonathan Davenport in the 49 in third. Nine tenths of a second was the advantage for Jimmy Owens last time by. Owens able to put a tenth on him, and now Owens has got another back marker to deal with as he tries to work around the 18D of Dalton Wilson coming around this time by. James, there will be 26 in the books, 14 to go. Dale McDowell, vintage Jimmy Owens, the first ballot Hall of Famer, and he's looking good down the back straightaway. He is. He's looking strong right now and really good through lap traffic. How tough is it, again, uh, Again, when you're at the front of the field, you don't know what the guys behind of you are doing. How tough is it to work through the lap traffic and know where to go? Well, Jimmy's got so much experience. He's just going to carry the most momentum he can. You know, normally he's not going to get pinned, but sometimes it's still hard to lead because you don't know where the guys behind you are making ground. Kyle Bronson out of the race in the infield. Here's the battle for the lead, Owens and Alberson. They will have 12 laps to go to decide this one. Garrett Who will, will Garrett he break that long streak? Wow. I know. He's, he's getting never, closer, Dustin and Dale. He's never won a Lucas Oil late model dirt series race. Has Garrett Alberson in the 58. He does have a $12,000 win in the Thal Brawl a couple years ago back in uh, 2021, I believe it was. $10,000 win here tonight, but no doubt if he could find his way into Velan Victory Lane here this evening, it would be the, the biggest career win by his standards. And again, his first ever Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series win. He's going to dispose of the 96 V of Tanner English. Now, no lapped cars between he and Jimmy Owens. Yeah, here comes Davenport. He'll try to get around English as well. Off a turn for Ricky Thorne Jr. fourth. O'Neill fifth. Marler up to sixth. Seventh, Shepard. Eighth, Marine. Ninth, Garrett Smith. Tenth is Tim McCready. I don't get so, don't count Jonathan Davenport out. No, He's sir. Still, really? Dale, I see you nodding your head. He's still right there. Yeah, and they got two lap cars Jimmy's got to deal with right here. Look at Alberson. Alberson looking high. Yep, sniffing the outside. Dale, if you're Jimmy Owens, do you want it to stay green? No, he wants a caution. He wants a caution. Well, Jimmy Owens, yeah. Okay, yes. I'll tell you what, they're closing on him. Here comes Alberson and Davenport. They're going to try to go side by side off of turn four. There is seven laps to go between these three. Thornton is about five car lengths back. We saw Alberson flirt with the high side there a couple laps ago, Dale. He lost a little bit of ground, it looked like, to Jimmy Owens and maybe opened up the door for Jonathan Davenport. Owens is running in the same line as Alberson, so it's one of those situations where catching him is one thing and passing him is another. They're fairly equal, you know, just working through lap traffic and who can get through those lap cars the, the best and the smoothest. Yeah. Gonna... If he can clear boom and Ross Robinson. Oh, man, he got a little sideways. Here comes Alberson and oh. Davenport. Five to go, guys. Here comes Garrett Alberson out of turn two. Man, Garrett Alberson, he wants one. He has never won a Lucas Oil late model dirt series race. He wants it. Oh, oh Owen's got a run down in turns three and four. They made contact. He stays out front four to go. Oh, man. Alberson is there. One mistake by Jimmy Owens. Now Alberson will slip up a little bit. Here comes Davenport, and here comes Ricky Thornton Jr. RT there as three well. Three to go. Yep, Davenport R to the top shelf, Dale McDowell. He's going to try to make something work. Oh, no, he, he might. He, he's going to make it work. He might. Jonathan Davenport on the high side of the racetrack. He's going to try to work by Garrett Alberson. Two and a half laps to go, and here comes J.D. on the high side. Owens better watch oh, out at baby. the line. Two to go. Oh, oh my goodness. No, we got a car, car slowing the in the one. Oh. Oh. Dave Boy, Warren, Power Sports, oh. caution he is out. No, oh, baby. PSG. Guys, Boom Briggs had slowed down the front straightaway. Yes, he did. a flat tire on that 99 uh, car. Jimmy is saying, yes. <laughs> and, Man. Everybody, and everybody else is saying, no. Hey, fans, don't stay with us. About 20 minutes after this race, we're going to run Monday's makeup rainout feature here. Two laps to go, Ben Shelton. And guys, Heath Lawson, series photographer, he does it all. The start cone and barrel got smoked about 15 laps ago. Oh, wow. And it's been on the front straightaway. Garrett Alberson actually caught that cone a few laps ago and pushed it further out. And now Heath has brought it back in. And guys, I, I don't know that that barrel is going to make it for the final season here at East Bay Raceway Park. It's been punished. But while... Uh, Man, Davenport had found something on the top side, and that was getting ready to be a finish for the ages. Who knows what we're going to have mm. now with two to go. Uh, ha hey, here's a look at your Flow Racing uh, instant replay, by the way. Is, mm, 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 mm. Right there. Ooh, yeah, you see close. Boom slowing. And yep. look. Oh, man. Yep. 
Dale, how hard is that, man? Uh, uh, there is a car slowing a lot of times. Even though it hands out the window, it, it's hard to tell when someone's slowing. It is. Jonathan had clear view of it, but a lot of times the car behind will, will really get in there hot. So uh, it's fixing to get interesting. You know, Jonathan, that's a typical deal of leading the race. You know, Jimmy was just running the same line, just trying to pick his way through, and Jonathan moved out and found some speed on that outside. And if you're leading a race, you won't do that. Right. I mean, you know, you usually don't change your line up until – until if he can see the sticks guy, which as much as going on, I don't know if they can see their signal guys. And there'll be a single file restart, right? So, Will, yeah, Will Harrington uh, has broke something on the 14X. So, the driver out of Hawkinsville, Georgia, in that ASD Motorsports entry uh, with issues on that race car. He is going to make his way to the heartbeat hot sauce hot pit. That last time by at the straight with two laps to go, how close was it? The top five were separated by about one second. Hudson O'Neill, by the way, rounding out the top five. He started back in 14th uh, with two laps to go. Your Todd Steel Buildings hard charger, Dale, you know who it is. Mikey Marler. It is Mikey Marler. Yep, he started 19th. He's up to 6th. He currently has gained 13 spots, as has Brian yep. Shirley. Yep. He started 25th. He is up to 13th. Hudson O'Neill has gained nine positions, and it's going to be a single file restart. East Bay Raceway Park, how many people think Jimmy Owens is going to hang on and get the win here tonight? How many folks think Jonathan Davenport's going to get the win? How many folks want to see Garrett Alberson get his first ever Lucas Oil Late Model Nerd Series win? Two laps to go. They go green on the Nutrient Act Solution starting zone. Green, white, checkered, guys. Good restart. Now Devin Porter go to the top, down the back straightaway. Guys, it's the Barons' performance. One lap to go. They're side by side for a second. Can Jimmy Owens do it for the first time since June of 2022? One to go. Jonathan Davenport's trying to get that high side momentum build up, but if the sands run out of the hourglass, he's three car lengths behind. Jimmy Owens down the back straightaway for the final time. JD's closing in a hurry. A Hail Mary in turns three and four. Checkered flag is out. Down to the line. Jimmy Owens gets the win on Thursday night at East Bay. That's a great race. Jonathan Davenport second. Garrett Alberson third. Ricky Thornton Jr. fourth, and Hudson O'Neill will round out the top uh, five right. in an East right. Bay Classic. How about it, race fans? Give them all a big round of applause. What another, what a great race. Hey, stay with us. Don't leave. We've got another feature coming up here in about 20 minutes. And for the first time since June of 2022, he's got to go to the UNO8 scales to make it official. What a battle. Owen Stavenport. Three tenths of a second at the finish. Alberson third. Thornton, O'Neill, Shepard, Marler seventh. Moran, Garrett Smith, Tim McCready. So that means that Brian Shirley ends up as the Todd Steel Building's hard charger of the race, up 13 spots from 26 to 13. Where did Bishop come from? He came <laughs> right late. <laughs> yeah. Man. He, uh, he started 13th. I think he kind of hung out back there for a little while and then made a made a nice run up he through the field right as, the, uh, as the cars make their way into the UNOH scale area. Hey, if you bought a 50-50 ticket, uh, get those out. We're going to announce that number here in just a minute. Do you, have a, do you know how much? Oh, it is uh, $1,747.50. So $1,747.50. I will give that back to you. And that winning 50-50 number, we will announce it here in just one second. And if you have that number, uh, you take it, uh, what, to the 50-50 stand, right? The 50-50 stand. And, again, get those 50-50 tickets ready. I'll give that back to you. Thank you. All right, that winning 50-50 number, it's on a blue ticket. It's on a blue ticket. If you have it, take it to the main 50-50 stand. And that winning number is four, four, nine, eight, seven, three, four, four, nine, eight, seven, three. If you have that winning number, take it to the 50, 50 stand. And Jimmy Owens, you see there on your screen has cleared the UNOH tech and scale area. And uh, this one's been a long time coming, East Bay Raceway Park. His first Lucas Oil win in 18 months. The first East Bay Raceway Park win for him in 11 years. How about it, East Bay, for the Newport Nightmare, Jimmy Owens? We'll wait on Jimmy to make his way around. Fifth different winner in nine Lucas Oil Late Motor Dirt Series events to start the year. It looked like that 
that Huddy and RTJ might stink the show up this year, but McCready got one at All Tech. Then we saw Tyler Erb pick up one here. And then tonight, it is going to be Jimmy Owens making his way around. A VLAN feature winner here at the 48th Annual VLAN Winter Nationals presented by Lucas Oil. And I tell you what, guys, we've got that 30-lap feature coming up after this one. They could just about start qualifying another show after that. This racetrack <laughs> is still juiced. And as we said, it's got, a lot, it's got a lot of character down here as we wait on Jimmy to make his way around. It's going to be double bubble for everybody here tonight. He's going to be chomping that gum down here in victory lane. And it's hard to believe he didn't get one last year four wins on the year in the Kohler Motorsports entry big congratulations to Bobby and Jessica Kohler owners of that race car Jimmy did pick up his first ever Schaefer Oil Southern Nationals title last year picked and choose and tonight though he brings that boom test well service Reese Monument Company ultimate towing number 20 into victory lane the rocket chassis of Vic Hill racing engine and the four-time Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series champions got a flat of strawberries on the hood of that Kohler Motorsports number 20 as we wait for him to climb out of the race car. $10,000 richer, his third all-time VLAN Winter Nationals feature win as he gets set to climb out of the car, second winningest driver in the history of the series. And the O Show is back. He's got a victory fuel down there as... He's got the gum, and he's climbing out of the race car. Race fans, how about it for Jimmy Owens? $10,000. He hops down off the race car, smile on his face. The gum's still alive. The strawberries are looking good. Jimmy, it's been a hot minute since you got a Lucas Oil win. Take you a sip of your victory fuel there. How good does it feel to be back in victory lane? A little mud on the rim of it. How does it feel to be back in victory lane? You know, I don't, I don't even remember the last time we won a race here at East Bay. I've never definitely won in these conditions, but uh, the car's been flawless all night. And, uh, you know, man, it's good from, from qualifying to the heat race to the feature. I mean, me and Garrett had a heck of a race. That was fun. And, uh, man, it's just a good night. What if I told you 2013 was the last time you won here? Well, I can't even remember back that far, but, <laughs> but it's pretty good. But, uh, you know, man, I got to thank Bobby Kohler for giving us a good equipment, Big Hill Race Engines, keeping us tuned in, and, and Boom Test, and uh, Mike Reese and the bunch. It's been with us forever. Snow Cold Fuels, Fox Shocks, man, we was going through the holes pretty good tonight. But, uh, you know, the list goes on and on. It's been so long since I got an interview, so <laughs> I kind of forgot them all. But, uh, you know, I want to say uh, give a shout-out to everybody back home, and uh, it's good to win a race. Jimmy, there's a lot of favorites out here, but it's been a while since I've seen a crowd go as crazy. Let him hear it, race fans. How about it for Jimmy Owens? You took that checkered flag. This crowd went wild. You've had a heck of a career. You've obviously got a lot of fire left in the tank. And to see all these fans behind you, what does that mean to you? It's just it's very, very humbling. And uh, it really, uh feels really good. So uh, I appreciate all you guys, and thank you all so much for the good years. One more thing for you. Davenport was starting to work that high side weight. You caught a rut there with a few to go, and Garrett Garrett got into you. How tough was it to figure out where to be on this racetrack and to lead? I, you know, I got to the lap cars, and, and I know that I either need to be up all the way up against the top or, or all the way on the bottom because the middle was crummy. And so I was able to pass a few lap cars there, and so I was just kind of a – I felt like I was a sitting duck down there on the bottom. I wanted to move to the high side so, so bad, but uh, I, was, I was kind of chicken too because we got the lead right there on the bottom. Race fans, how about it? Jimmy Owens picks up 10000 here tonight at East Bay. We slide down to get our second place finisher on the Big River Steel podium, Jonathan Davenport and Car 49. He's been third the past few nights. He moves up to second. Jonathan, we're one spot better tonight, man, and you let it hang out on that last lap, but how bad did you not want that Dave Warren Power Sports caution with two to go? Damn it, boom. <laughs> of all people, you know, uh, nah, I guess he had a flat there. And uh, just, yeah, like I saved and saved and saved, and I just thought I'd, you know, throw my nuts over the shoulder there those last five laps and uh, just uh, never take it off the wood. But uh, my, my guys give me a really good car where I could stay in position and, and save a little bit of tire there for the end. But uh, everything just uh, didn't work out in our favor. But that's okay. We got a, we got a good hot rod. We, we're continuing to work on this thing. and. 
uh, we've changed it every night, just trying something different. And I think we found something obviously a little better for later, but it obviously it's not as slick as what it was uh, the first two races we was here. So uh, I think we got a direction to go in the features. We've been timing in pretty fast and been running pretty good in our heat race. Uh, just got to thank all my guys, you know, first and foremost. Uh, they've been working their tails off for me. Uh, thanks Nutrient Ag Solutions, ASC Warranty, uh, Dynagro Seed, Longhorn Chassis, VP Fuels, Bill Stein Shocks. Uh, thanks to all these fans coming out. Thanks to Al for uh, giving us a great racetrack. Go up there and see uh, Brewster and Jay Bird in the trailer. Go to uh, 49apparel.com if you're sitting there on your phones watching this. But uh, just got to thank everybody and uh, got two more to go. All right, well, he covered all the bases. How about Jonathan Davenport? He comes home in second. The Big River Still Podium. DJ, I'm going to throw it back up to you for just one second, and I'll catch up with Garrett Alberson. You got it. I see you got to hike down there to grab a word with Garrett Alberson, who is in contention here this evening. Uh, he's been really, really good in speed weeks, Ben, and uh, maybe a time or two doesn't have the finish to show for it, but the driver out of Las Cruces, New Mexico, will round out the Big <laughs> River Steel Podium here this evening. I can see he's got a grin from ear to ear all the way up here, Ben. Garrett, I can't. Um, how about one thing, race fans? How about Garrett Alberson in the drive tonight in the 58 car? Garrett, you got a smile on your face like you're on top of that Big River Still podium. But, man, you're sniffing the front of the pack. Has this team finally turned the corner you've been working so hard on? Man, I, I think so. We've uh, we've really worked hard. Uh, Ken's put a ton into this program, and uh, and my group has just never given up on me, even when I wanted to give up on myself a couple times there for just doing goofy stuff. But, uh Man, with, we've got an excellent Longhorn here. Um, Snoko Race Fuel, Bill Stein Shocks, um, Sea Valley Transportation, Fast Shaft, Swiss Springs. I uh, just can't thank all these guys enough. Uh, man, I, I'm, we're really close. Uh, I just needed to position myself on, uh, on Jimmy when I had the chance. I think the green flag runs were good for us, um, but I'm, I'm just stoked to be in the mix with these guys. I think we can win us one of these. Uh, I'm just happy to be here up, up front and at Speed Weeks. That's awesome. Jimmy hooked a rut at one point down in three and four, and you had a big run, and you got into him a little bit. How hard is it to keep your composure when you're right there on being out front? And you're also, by the way, you're racing Jimmy Owens for the lead in a Lucas Oil event at East Bay. Man, it, it, uh, it blows my mind still to this day how hard these guys can run. Like, it, it, it's crazy. Jimmy's one of the fastest guys I've ever seen race a car, and so is Davenport. And, uh I don't know. I, I've got I got so much respect for these guys. I want to do it right. I want to win these races right, and uh, they're just so cool to be up here with these guys. I, I want to do it the right way, and I think we will. So, race fans, how about it for Garrett Alberson? He rounds out the Big River Steel podium. He comes home in third. Guys, they're going to wrap up Lucas Oil Victory Lane down here. We're going to get ready for another feature. Absolutely. Again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to clear the gate. You don't have to go anywhere. About 20 to 30 minutes or so, uh, we will have the Monday night feature uh, still to come. James, uh, we uh, also need to dish out the specialty awards here in this first one. Yeah, great job as we catch our breath there. <laughs> I can't – this is I – mean, man, it's just sad, isn't it? That it's going away. I know. I know. Uh, the Coleman Farms fastest lap of the race, DJ, was Jimmy Owens at 14.673 seconds. The MD3 most laps led was Jimmy Owens. The Willwood Brakes uh, lucky seventh place finish was Mike Marler. And your Death Ridge Opticians lucky 13th was Brian Shirley, who was also the Todd Steele Buildings hard charge of the race from 26th to 13th. Good run for Brian Shirley in the in the 3S is. Uh, Dale, you uh, you're you're gonna you're gonna stick around for uh, one more feature here tonight, right? Oh man, I wouldn't miss it for the world. It's awesome up here. <laughs> Way easier up here than it is down there. <laughs> oh, and the crowd. We encourage you to uh, stick around as well as uh, victory lane ceremonies continue again. Roughly a twenty to thirty minute uh, time frame here, and we will roll out. It'll be a thirty lapper, the Monday night feature. It'll be Garrett Smith on the pole and Tyler Herb on that on the outside. So again, if you're here on the ground, it'll be about twenty or. 30 30 minutes or so you got a little bit of opportunity to stand up stretch your legs grab something to eat visit vendors row behind the main grandstands if you're watching at home as part of this mav tv on flow racing broadcast you do not need to switch over anywhere we will be back again here in about 20 or 25 minutes with the monday night feature we appreciate you joining us this is mav tv on flow racing <laughs>